Jessica. Hello everybody and welcome back to um, d and a Pidge part something or other, not too sure. 30... 32, part 32. You've been with us guys for 32 issues. That's more than a... If you can't cut everything at being an hour, which it's not, it's not uh, over. It's like over a day's worth of listening. According to my Thank issue, it's 1.6 days. Thank you so much for sticking with it. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank you a lot, because like, it's really... We encourage yeah, you to comment. Down. Comment, put ideas down and stuff like that, you know. Mr. Pitch might even, you know. Yeah, yeah maybe. Oh, yeah. I, I do read all the comments and replies, whatever. Um, they also might give question, Lyra though. an idea of how not to fucking die. Excuse me, <laughs> Mr. I make giant monsters and make everybody attack the um, Lyra. How, how, since we've been at sea, how many times have you died? Three it's times, wasn't it? No. Oh, it's twice. All in general. And how many times have I died? None. You have well, having said that, I'm probably going to die. You got to 2 HP and ran away. <laughs> I embraced the oldest of pirate traditions. Yeah. We must run away so we can fight another day. <laughs> That's it. That's that, that. That is a rule that the Skaven have in the book. <laughs> anyway, um. Because in Ratman society, it's noble to flee. <laughs> Yes, yes. So we left our oh, heroes. We left our heroes um, on the adventure, sa sailing away. Um, they were just attacked I'm by sailing away. Didn't ever care for the bed in the sea. <laughs> anyway, I uh, I listened to the Chef Aid album so much. <laughs> anyway, um, so. They're on the adventure, um, everything's back to normal, the next morning's come. Have you, have you already rolled your new healing set? No. Yes, we have, we rolled at the end of last thing. Did we? Yes, when we... Yeah, yeah, you did, the, yeah, yeah. From the super brain thing. Yes. I don't... Oh, yes, we did. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> two minutes ago. <laughs> Let me just find... The, not the rules, this one. Okay. So, the adventure sails on. Following the guide stone. At midday, the next day, the spotter up in the um, crow's nest calls down, Land ho! Finally! Fuck yeah! It seems at last you have found the Ashen Isle. Oh. Okay. You can see it in the distance. Can we? A small island alone in the sea. Yay. As you sail ever closer, you can see it slightly more clearly. The island itself seems around one mile in diameter. A grandiose palace sits on top oh, of the wow. island. It's a fucking tiny island. The whole it? building sparkles strongly in the sunlight. Sunlight. What's it made out of? White? Is it white? Uh, you're too far away to see. You can like just about it's just coming into vision. Oh. It was like a dot on the horizon. Now you're getting closer. The whole the whole building like almost sparkles in the sunlight. I'm gonna call down to oh. Sister Hannah. Hannah, come up here. Yes. What is it? Look. There it is. In the distance, it says the Ashen Isle. Oh my! The Phoenix Court! We're finally here! Apparently so. Okay. Oh, you say level closer. Um, as you get closer, you... To answer your question, you see that the palace is a odd golden colour. It looks like the walls are actually made out of gold. Wow, that's really um, nice. Ems wants to steal it. The whole palace. <laughs> The whole house. Like, bag of holding. Just like, how much can I put in my bag of holding? <laughs> Not a <Just> palace. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh. Yeah. You say that we're closer, and now you can see that the bottom of the island is delicately decorated with deep red blossoming trees. Like there's beautiful. It's like there's a garden all the way through the bottom of the island. Um, these tr petals cascade down from these trees in this kind of red shower, and it actually leaves a trail of like red petals behind it. So this whole place is gold and red, and like really regal looking. Mm. Um, and these trees cover almost, sorry, the palace is huge and covers almost all of the island with these trees all around the bottom of it. As you stay up closer, you see how the way the palace is set out, it appears to be vast bridges that arc between tall towers, lots of different towers and stuff, with um, over a main palace below, like big chambers and stuff. One tower in the center is e stands even more obnoxiously tall than the rest of them and rises high into the sky. Um, from here, you can see that it glows like some kind of lighthouse. Ooh, but you don't know why. Very nice. Pretty. Um, 
the guy's stone's pointing like directly towards it, shining really brightly. Um, so you sail even closer, wary of your approach. Yep. Now only 300 meters away from the shore. So in is terms they... of, if a football pitch is like 30, then quite away. Can I ask, yeah. is, the, is the Duke's Crest flying high like the flag? It's on the sail. It's on the sail. Oh, it's pretty on the sail, yeah. 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 Um, in the distance, you see five small shapes emerge from one of the towers and begin to fly towards you. You oh. can't make out what they are yet. Oh dear. Um, Hannah says, what, what What? are they? We don't know. I mean, um, um, do perception. Don't feel. Um, can I have. That's a 17? Nice. Oh, uh, no. I'm not So I have a 19. Oh, oh um, you can both actually make it out. You can see that they are <laughs> something <laughs> white and with flapping wings. They're still fly- quite far away, so even with your girls. The seagulls! <laughs> And um, they seem pretty big though. Okay. Okay, so Hannah's asking you what they are. Uh, they, they look appear- like birds. They, they appear to be an avian species of some kind. I don't know what though. Can I do a creature craft? Uh, probably too far away. Yeah, probably too far. You can uh, try it. That's a 10. No, you're not sure. It's not sure. Right, okay. Um, okay. So, the, <coughs> the, um, all of these sailors <coughs> around kind of like start <coughs> grabbing the hilts of their swords and kind of like pointing up the like, oh, what could it be? What could it be? Is that a bird? Uh, it's men, a hands off your weapons. We don't want to give the elves the wrong idea. The, the men all like simultaneously nod. I'll, 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 I'll shout down to the, to, 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 to the captain of the cannon deck. Cannon crew, withdraw the cannons. The cannons Batten down the hatches. The cannons down the hatches. Oh, are they not? Are they not like, are they like, well, they're always out. Because on like ships you can like oh, draw, you them to draw them in. Draw them in. Yeah, like, like draw them in yeah. and I shut the flaps and stuff, making us look le- as hot, as least hostile as possible. Okay. Um, the guys all turn to Nero up in the cabin and he says, uh, "Do do as he says." And a few men go down and you see the, the flaps go down and the cabin's real bit. I'm gonna go up to the bow and like kind of like stand, see if I can get a better look. What? Can I see more? On the front of the ship. Yeah. Um, the they're getting closer now, so you can actually see what they are. What are they? Seagulls. Big seagulls. As they get closer, you can see that they are five noble, pure white big pe- seagulls. Pegasus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh! Pegasus! Each bearing a rider oh. of an elf in a suit of ornate elven plate mail that shimmers like gold. Oh my gosh, you um, as they get even closer, you can kind of see that their armor is intricately carved with all manner of different wings and runic sigils and stuff. Like Elven craftsmanship is just insane. Good. Like, it's just it's bef- like it, like <clears throat> the best human craftsman ever could could like never get to that like, yeah, yeah. Of finesse and delicacy. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, I want a Pegasus. Thank you. You're not having a Pegasus. <laughs> I'm not give you a flying mouth. Steal one. I have a baby one. No. It just floats about and I call it um, I call it Pegasus. No. <laughs> ah, Pegasi. What is the collective term for, pe- for a Pegasus? Pegasi. Pegasus. Oh, Pegasus. I'm not sure if it's Pegasi or Pegasus. In this, I've written it Pegasus, but I like the idea of saying Pegasi. <laughs> I like octopi as well. I think it's Pegasus. I, th- I think it is Pegasus. The, uh, the collective term for yeah. sheep is sheep. Yeah, yeah. Look we'll at all the sheep, don't go look at all the sheep. Anyway, so um, yeah, they have this ornate plate man that shimmers with gold. Um, the armor is intricately carved with all manner of wings I and sigils. Each. <laughs> Shut up, guys. <laughs> Each has a lance over its back. Um, a quiver of arrows over, not the horses, the, the <laughs> Each has a lance over its back, a quiver of arrows, um, and a long sword by their side, and they're all carrying elven bows. Okay. Um, the Pegasus fly even closer um, and approach your ship. Um, the knight in the se- and you see there's five of them, by the way. The knight in the center signals forward, he, he kind of like puts his hand forward. And two Pegasus peel off on each side and fly around your ship, and two hover on either side of your ship, with their bows kind of drawn and ready oh, at your guys. Okay. The knight in the centre, uh, the fifth knight Pegasus swoops over the bow of your ship. The rider leaps down with incredible dexterity and finesse and just lands oh, on the bow of your ship. Um, so you're actually to its back because you went to the bow. But um, 
everybody else is like to the front. I'm stood there the wheel on the ship. Yeah. Um The knight lands on the deck and rises up. <laughs> it is a beautiful woman. <laughs> her long golden Well hello! <laughs> Her long golden hair flows behind her in the sea breeze, oh. as does the long regal blue cloak she's wearing over her armor. Oh, she's so beautiful. She's not wearing a helmet, by the way. The, the other four are. She says something in Elven which none of you understand. Damn it, I don't know what this is. <laughs> she goes, "Happy night, Oh, you could have really made that beautiful. Happy night, Oh God. Uh, I guess what Hannah. Sister Hannah, come come here, my dear. Um, what did she say? She kind of stands there, hugging her diary, going, so beautiful. Oh, what the fuck did she say? Hannah, um, you're only translator. Please, all, please. All the sailors look really confused and really, like, wary. They're, like, <clears throat> looking around yeah, all the yeah, yeah. around you. Let me just change the music so that doesn't make sense. Okay. It's going to be very useful, this just waves music. I wasn't sure when I was going to use it. <laughs> Um, take it in. It's viewers. actually under the name the Wave slash Fog slash Tense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sister Hannah, what did she say? Um, picture. The elf woman who's armoured, kind of the, the one who landed, she kind of looks sternly at Gideon as you say this to her, and says in common tongue, humans. What brings you to this place? I'm going. Oh, oh so she does speak English. Yeah, I didn't think they were just going to speak entirely. I'll, I'll, I'll basically, I'll basically just take, take, take a tentative she step says forward. It. She um, seems a, extremely stern and blunt. I just, like, I'll, 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 I'll basically take, take, take a tentative step, step forward, and then I don't know. I shall, I shall, I shall, I shall, I shall, I shall, I shall bow. Um, <laughs> as you bow, she reaches down and puts a hand on the sword, and then realizes that you're just bowing, and slowly puts it away. I, 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 I what did she ask her, sorry? <laughs> uh, what brought you here? Um, we're on an important mission yes. from, from the Duke of Upton Fields. He has sent us here with great importance, seeking your counsel. She says, No, she says, no humans get to this sacred place. Turn and leave. Um, this concerns, what's the crown called? The highborn crown. crown. This is a matter of great importance, my lady. It concerns matters of the highborn crown. He says, um, I Can you give me anything to like show, like a seal or a letter or something? Well, I love this, you know, Just, it? Yeah. Well, you have a big sigil on your sail. Yeah, yeah. Well, they know who it's from. Mm -hmm. um, she says, My orders come from the Phoenix King himself. No human has ever set foot on this island, and it's not going to start now. Uh, I want to interject. Here. My dear. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, can I, can I just yeah, say, go on, go on. My, my, my lady, we would not have braved this treacherous ocean if it weren't of a mission of great importance. We even have this. I'm going to show the um, the the way the thing that points to, yeah. to the direct. We the the, the 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 Duke of Upton Fields even gave us this to help us on our way. She looks at it and says, "You could have made that yourself or got it from anyone. It I, shows nothing." I couldn't really. I'm a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> I read no, no, couldn't. <laughs> you had be pirates who stole the ship. Uh, uh, m lady, um, Curtsy. Oh no, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, as you speak behind her, she draws her sword and points it at you because basically she forgot. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, and, and as you do that, the, the archers kind of pull their bows. Oh, don't no, please, don't shoot! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm she sorry. says, move. And okay. kind of like okay. gets you to wheel around <laughs> and go down to where Gideon's standing. Uh, I'm still so, so there, stalwart and, then, and then, ever, just and like sheaths her sword again. Uh, I'm just. Uh, she has a katana looking belt. Oh, that's cool. Well, um, I was just. Uh, well, it's, it's just like we've kind of had a little bit of an elf issue. Um, yeah, does. There seems to be a dark elf who's going around collecting parts of the Highborn Crown. For some nefarious purpose. Um, do a charisma check. Oh, 15. She says. Of a. Of three. She yeah. says, um, the dark elves are vermin. They have disgraced our people. <laughs> but yet one is trying to steal parts of the highborn crown. Do you see now why it's important? Do you see now why we seek an audience with the almighty Phoenix King? And what happens when he gets the crown? We don't know. We don't know, but it can't be good. And how can I be so sure I want you to have the crown? 
We do not want the crown. We want to merely keep it safe. We want to seek counsel. We seek counsel with yeah. the Phoenix King. His wisdom Can you will do prove us well. Christmas. Oh, come on, get epic 20, epic 20, epic 20. It's a 19. It's good ass. She says, <laughs> hmm. I sense truth in your words. <laughs> That's the other However, Ooh. my orders are true. What are your orders? Kill them all. What? And the archers pull back their bows. Wait, stop! Everybody starts panicking and goes to draw their swords. Stop, no! And then from the island you hear this... <laughs> Like this epic eagle call. Oh, oh! Like, 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 basically an eagle's kind of squawk. I couldn't find a good one on Okay. Either. But, um, also I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, um, the elf puts a sword down and says, Wait! Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, my lord. What? Humans, follow me. And Did shoots a sword. I'm a human? Well, the rest of you are. <laughs> you're, a, you're a half dark elf. I, you're like, I do not know. You're like, you're you're like lower worst. than the skull you, you, you said before that you always keep your hood up, so yeah. it's not that obvious. Ooh. Plus, you've got gold. Like, there's not a whole lot of your skin showing. You nope. Just, you look really out of place on the ship. Because like, you're yeah. like in skin tight suit. And I'm the navigator. <laughs> um, skin tight sexy suit. She, said, she goes, Yes, my lord. Humans, follow me. And she whistles and does a like a wolf whistle thing. I can't do it. Um, her Pegasus swoops down behind her and she effortlessly like backflips onto it. No. Um, the other elves put down their bows, sheathe their arrows, um, and basically <laughs> surround you. She says, "Follow me." Okay. And starts flying towards so the So we're gonna follow. Nero, you're follow. Yeah, you're like being Cap Captain Nero. We are being escorted to the Ashen Isles. Make haste. Make it so. He says. Wolf nine. He says. Can you assure me that no more of my men will die? Uh, no. As long as, as long, um... As long as no, as, as long as you don't do anything to agitate the elves of the Ashen Isle, everything will be fine. They were about to be killed. We cannot promise them that they will not die. Basically, Nero, keep your men on the ship at all times. Um, the guys seem really nervous. And Nero tells them all to go down. Don't do anything to piss back. these elves off. They're very uptight. The guys all go. The guys will go back down into the depths. So the only ones on the dot on the. He really <laughs> can't say. <laughs> Are you <in> a... <laughs> There's only one letter difference. Come on. It's like me with to Tobias. Tobias. So the only ones on the deck. Uh, basically, your party. So Hannah Grumberg and Nero. Mhm. Mm and you, Nero come with? And you too as well. Um. Okay. So. But no, 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 sorry, that makes me sick. Nero, by the wheel of the, your ship, uh, begins to shout orders um, to the guys to go downstairs as you sail towards the Ashen Isle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I remember where epic, I am. Epic sea voyage music. Uh, we're heading towards the Ashen Isle. Yes, I know, but I mean in my wall of writing. <laughs> Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's right to me, yeah? Okay. Okay, so you sail towards the Ashen Isle. Five Pegasus flocking around you in escort. The knight at the front mm -hmm. taking, taking lead. Yeah, and they're still kind of looking down at you, like... They're not looking where they're going, they're just looking down at you. The they're, Pegasus is doing they're, well. they're, Yeah, they're bows down. The Pegasus aren't saddled or anything, they're kind of there. In order to ride a Pegasus, you kind of have to charm it, and it has to want to let yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, They're pretty intelligent creatures. Like a unicorn. I want one. <laughs> okay. Your ship comes into dock at the isle... Um, comes, comes to dock at the isle. Got it right. As you approach... <laughs> The ship comes to the deck! The dock! The deck! <laughs> ah, to the dick docky doodah! <laughs> so, yeah. So your ship comes in, comes to dock at the island. As you approach, the waters beneath your ship begin to glow. And your ship is like latched onto and pulled into port. Ooh. And locked into place by these like magical energies in the water, nice. basically. Again, you can feel this like surge of energy mm. in the ship. Um, the winds of magic are indeed strong in this place. Yay! Know how much I love magic. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Is okay. this Journey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite. 
Like, jump down for them. Okay. Well, we will. Let me tell you what happens. Yeah, I, keep, yeah. I keep losing my place because it's just a massive wall of text. Yes, it is. Uh, so you pull them, you pull them to pull by some kind of magical energy. The Pegasus Knights fly off as you as you come into the bay. Um, there are no less than ten elven guards waiting for you on the slipway. Oh. Each of them dressed in the same ornate plate mail as the knights were. Nice. But they all they all have long blue cloaks and they're wearing helmets with big wings on them. Oh like Gondor. Um yeah, like the fountain guard actually. Mm -hmm. Um the duck itself is very strange. Um it's really small. Couldn't fit more than one ship in it. Like you're a medium sized ship, so one big ship, that's pretty much yeah, all. Yeah. Like, all they don't get many visitors, do they? Yeah. <clears throat> um, there is no walkway of wood or stone around it, like um, a slipway. Um, the ship comes to rest in what looks like a, a bay, like a like a natural bay, with fine white sands under the water. Oh. And the water's perfectly clear. Oh, I might just come in. You all, you um, the slipway comes down like the, the platform to go down, yeah, yeah. and um, your kind of gesture to come off. The ship. I'll, 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 I'll be, as, as we're all about to walk off, I'll be like, um, friends. We are the first non-elves to ever step foot on the Ashen Isles. <coughs> Count yourselves among the privileged. <coughs> um, Hannah's like... <laughs> Grumbug's like, oh, like, no. a, like a child going into Disneyland. I don't know. <laughs> Grumbug's like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Grumbug looks. Grumbug's like, smell it stick in the air and he's like, something smells way too clean. <laughs> <laughs> that might be you, Grumbug. <laughs> <laughs> You're, sal you're both salty now. Okay. So you're just going to disembark, yeah? Salty. Yeah. We'll do, we'll do so so you, you begin to disembark the ship. As you do so, um, the guards allow Gideon down, Lyra down, Hannah down, Grumbug starts to walk down, and they put halberds in front of them. They say, no monsters. What? Well, no, he's not a monster, he's a friend. Grumbug is, our, Grumbug is our friend and companion and bodyguard. Please let him through. Please. Says, they say, it is a privilege for you to be here, human. No monsters. He is not a monster. He might appear a monster, and he might appear a drunkard, <laughs> but he is a stalwart character, Brave and will only do what we tell him to. Kind soul. My lords have asked for you, Peter not this creature. Your lords okay. have asked for me and my companions. He is one of them. From book? No. Can I, can I, can I charisma check? Oh, no. Can I no. charisma? <laughs> they have asked for you and your female friend. Yeah. Well, they just said female friend and the only two women on the show. Can I try and do a charisma check? Yeah. So no, I, he's, I, he's not gonna let you through. That's a one. That's a two. <laughs> you somehow insult him and he says, I told you! No. <laughs> you probably put your hand in the Grumbug, like, wait! You. Grumbug, wait by the ship. If things go down, you know what to do. Okay. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go to the. I'll go to the. I'll, I'll say to. I'll say to the guard. Any funny business? And my what? And my and, and, and my yeah. what? And my war trial here will act. Uh, the guards I, kind of confine everybody else to the ship. I, they they I, don't let Nero down either. Can I ask Hannah to let Nero, keep the ship docked. We'll be back soon. Says, Ish, maybe. Says I will, I will ready the men to sail again. I will. I'm gonna sneak to while you guys are talking. I'm gonna sneak over to Hannah and say. Is there any sort of courtesy thing that we should be doing? Like, any, uh, it's something that we should avoid in case we insult the elves. Like, Don't look at their ears. <laughs> she says. They don't like she it. says, this is a very sacred place. It's a privilege just to be standing on these shores. I know. I wouldn't suggest speaking unless we're told. Okay. And whatever you do, don't offend the elves. Oh. I'm a wizard of the sacred order. I they're, bow to no man. They're very, they're very proper people and are very, <laughs> very stuck to their traditions. Yep. Sounds okay. like somebody I know. <laughs> okay, so you you get down onto the onto the sands, and you're the three of you are flanked by four guards. The rest of the guards stay and keep the guys on the ship. But well, they don't board the, the ship. They're not interfering with it or anything. They're yeah, basically yeah. just saying don't. Basically, not causing any trouble. They're basically like, don't get on the fuck on our island. Um, these guys all look really powerful, by the way. Okay. Like psycho level powerful. No god, vampire level. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, let's go. Okay, so you're you're flanked by four guards, and one of, one of them says, "Please follow." It's not the guy you just argued with. Oh, okay. Have okay. oh, we left that guard? Yeah, he 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 like stays behind. The guy seems like a bit of a tool. <laughs> I don't like guards. I don't like authority. You don't. 
I'm, I'm a, to be fair, okay, right? to clap, I'm a, I'm a wizard. I'm pretty much unbound by most moral laws, most laws in general. I'm a wander, I'm a wanderer. Really eh? There's so many wizard laws of like what you can and can't do. Yeah, but in regards to the 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 it's uh, just like a in, 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 in the in the realms of mortals though wizarding affairs yes but in the realms in the dealings of mortals and these other kind of things these are elves <laughs> yes <laughs> but they are not immortal though anyway so yeah, um, moving on going off the no. Gideon morning one bows to no man yeah. unless necessary mm. basically if you've got an attitude with me I'll get an attitude with you okay that's, that's a little teenager. Anyway, I just fo- don't take following, following them away from the ship, you can see the place where you docked um, is actually similar to a seaside garden. I guess it's seaside resort. The, the pale sand... <laughs> hi, hi, campers! The pa- <laughs> Shut up! Sorry, I sorry. I keep losing sorry. my place every time you talk. I'm sorry, dude. Sorry, the sorry. pale sand rolls up a slight hill, then the ground becomes soft, luscious green grass. The, it smells incredible with that kind of, like, wet, dewy smell. Oh. Like, like freshly cut grass. Freshly cut grass and mm. also the blossom of the trees is kind of cherry blossoms. Smelling through your cherry blossoms. Smelling through the, end. the path itself is stepped and made of the same almost golden material of the palace walls. Um, as you step on it, it feels like stone, but it physically looks golden. Um, you also see that the palace itself has no brick markings or anything. It looks almost organic, like some like coral structure. Like it, like it, it just like it. It was there grown. forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. White gold tower from Morrowind. So, the path itself. Um, so the steps there, the steps are made. Uh, um, as you go up the path, you pass under several small archways, pointlessly placed along the path. Mm-hmm. Basically, everything they do is because it looks amazing and it doesn't have any functional purpose. Um, that sums up the each else. carve delicately and intricately, um, and all have a small orb of arcane light floating above it. Oh, pretty. Which kind of like casts these like, intricate shadows on the grass along the mm. you. You um, pass by several of the trees along your way. Each tree is beautiful, pure white bark, uh, with crimson petals hanging from every branch. Small jade birds flutter around between the branches, like, chirping trees. happily. And obviously, obviously because uh, petals are falling, like the wind blushes these petals all around. It's like, I, I'm getting it's almost like almost like an, a, like, a, yeah. like an Asian, like an Asian, Japanese like kind of feel, like red cherry blossom. Place, kind of yeah. Okay. Is that armor kind of like that kind of um, like a um, overlapping mm. samurai? Kind no, of? no. Are we talking like the elven armor from like Lord of the Rings type type? Lord of the Rings. Yeah, similar. Kind of like the Thalmor armor, but more light with wings. Right, okay. Are, okay. These, are these high elves or just elves? Hi, there is no such thing as high elves. Alright, okay, so you're just elves and drow. Um, right, okay, elves are dark elves. Okay. The path itself, yeah, one, but where the fuck am I? Would you like me to keep my finger No, nah, it's alright. I'll just, I'm gonna uh, press enter every time I get stuck. You are mesmerized. What the? F- yeah, you're you're mesmerized by the unparalleled <laughs> beauty of the island, basically. <laughs> what the? F- oh my god, f- I am f- right. I thought I'd skipped a bit. Right, so you go up this path and there's all this pretty shit around. Got it. Eventually, you're brought through the gardens and towards a grand door. Oh wow. The door stands twenty foot high and ten foot wide. So this thing's big. Like it's like four tall guys on top of each other. Um. Um, it's made of some unknown white material that seems similar to ivory. Oh. Um, it glows and dances with man- magical energies all over it as you approach. Two guards stand visual at the door. They bow and begin to pull open the door as you enter. The two guards leading you give a similar nod as, as you are led in. Okay. You are led down a long corridor. The ceiling is still 20 foot, uh, 20 foot high above. Elven guards stand motionless by many doors along the corridor as you, as you go through this passageway. You st- that was weird. You step on s- a soft blood red carpet as, as you walk forwards. And you see that the walls are lined with intricate paintings of different magical creatures like Pegasus and Unicorn. Hydras and giant crabs and but more more pretty stuff than that. <laughs> Phoenix. Um, yes, yeah, so you're led down this long corridor. 
Um, blah, blah, blah. As you carry on down to the end of the corridor, you can hear music coming from a chamber ahead. Um, you come to another door similar to the ivory one that was at the front, and again, two guards open the door and you enter into the next room. This room is a long, grand hall. The walls are covered in huge statues of elves of legend in elaborate clothing and armor. So these massive statues lining the inside of the room. Each statue stands 15 meters tall with a sconce of arcane light between each one, which is basically just like a, you know, like a torch sconce. Yeah, but instead yeah. of flames, it's just this ball of light yeah, yeah. coming out of it. Okay. Um, and there's also an elven guard stood beneath each one, just perfectly motionless. The floor of the room is mosaiced in different swirls and blue waves and oceans, and, and this huge red phoenix mosaic on the floor as well, in the centre. At the head of the throne room, there's a platform, um, only about two feet high, with steps going up it. The platform's as wide as the room itself. A large silver harp plays in the corner of the um, of the room, completely by itself. That's oh, cool. Oh, that's so awesome. Boy, that's what this sound is. Is that Harry Potter? No. <laughs> yeah, Fluffy Light is asleep in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> the throw room is more like beautiful and ornate than anything you could ever imagine. Like Lyra's eyes like light up with all the gold and silver. And, <laughs> sure. and Hannah's just getting moist. Because of the elf. <laughs> in the centre, in on in the centre of, of this platform lies a throne, more beautiful than anything you've ever seen. Sitting in the throne is a man in long, regal, red and white robes. He wears some armour, mostly just huge golden wings for shoulder pads, Ooh. and a crown which is a golden stone in the centre and then six wings that arc around the sides of his head. Pretty! <laughs> the man himself is dangerously handsome. Uh, he has, handsome he has deep green eyes that look like, like the Mako infused from Rick and Fantasy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I don't know Final Fantasy references. Oh, he's beautiful. Basically, imagine somebody's normalised and you turn the saturation up to four. Ah, right. So <laughs> they're like really, they, they pop. They're like really green. They're like really, really stand out. Beautiful. Um, he seems to never blink as he watches your approach. Oh, that's slightly creepy though. As you get to around oh. two meters away from the stage, the guards that are escorting you turn and leave back out of the oh, room. Oh, not bad. Oh, that's a bit sad. Oh dear. Yeah. The Elven King doesn't say a word. He merely stares at you, occasionally turning his head, trying to uh, figure you out. Gideon's gonna. That's Gideon. a perfect moment for me to say, man. That was really good. Gideon, 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 Gideon stands there. Stalwart, stalwart as ever. Did you come out in with your staff, by the way? What's yes. Hannah, what's Hannah doing? Oh, Hannah's just walking on. Sorry. Is she? Is yes. she? Is she? Has she bowed or anything like that? Because I'm just going to follow Hannah's lead. Um. No, she's like stunned. She's actually holding your hand. Oh yeah, okay. Get. Uh, I guess. We should bow. Gideon, Gideon is, 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 is going is to start. By the way, is my staff like a full staff or is it like a quarter staff? It's, not it's, a, staff. it's a full it staff. It comes into your shoulder. That's like, that's like. Gideon, 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 Gideon's basically, basically going, going, to, going to kind of just bow and just go, hail and well met. We ladies are also going to uh, <laughs> you talk, you, you say that, he does not react. After a while, he kind of strokes his chin and says, so, mm. welcome to the Phoenix Court. You, my friends, are privileged. You're among the first humans to be granted an audience here. It seems that Alshan and Aldra see something special within you. So, let, let's get the pleasantries over with. I am Tarasalon, the Phoenix King. That is a wicked yeah. name, Tarasalon. State your name and your reason for coming so far to the sacred place. I am Gideon Mor I am the I am the great wizard Gideon Morningwood. At your service. And you two? Uh I'm uh, Lyra and this is uh, Sister Mr. Hannah. She says, I'm I'm Hannah my lord and kind of like curtsies. Oh I'll curtsy too then. I'm good following her lead. Her curtsy looks normal and she lifts up her gown slightly. You look weirdy really weird in your skin tight armor. <laughs> it just looks like you had to squat down for a poo. <laughs> <laughs> Our intentions I bow! 
<laughs> Absolutely <laughs> says, so, what brings you here? We have a matter we need to discuss. We have been sent by the Duke of Upton Fields. The matters concern the highborn, the highborn crown. Fuck, I was so trying mm. hard to remember what the commodity was called. Upton Fields. Rascal, I believe it is. Correct. I don't remember. Correct, my liege. A young and foolish man, though honourable enough. Uh, indeed. So, oh, you say you after some crown? We are not after it. We are here to warn you that somebody is, is trying to steal it. it. We know not what for, but he already has one piece. But if he gets all of uh, the, all pieces together, we don't know what will happen. We come to we we, we come to seek your counsel on as matter. to uh, on this matter as to what. Ha- what, what, you know, more to do with the, the, the highborn crown and stuff like says, that. says, you say someone. Who is someone? Uh, what, what, uh, what do we know the guy's name? Cypher. You know, he's called Cypher, but she knows him as a... Yeah, don't, don't. What do you know? <laughs> keep, keep, you keep your lips... Baradin, my keep, father. Keep your lips sealed. Baradin, yeah. Keep your lips sealed. I'm not going to let him know that the Dark Elf is my father, yeah. okay? There is a Dark Elf, known only by the name of Cypher. Extremely powerful. We have tangled with him once before, and nearly did not live to tell the tale. Hmm. He is after the parts of the Highborn Crown. Hmm. A Dark Elf. Treacherous folk indeed. And you say you don't know why he wants it? We do not know, but it can't be good. And how am I to know that you aren't out to do the same? What? That's very. That's a very, very oh, good point. Oh, I suppose... Look into our... Look, look, the, Use your wisdom and look into our hearts. Uh, do a quick check. You will see that we are of pure intentions. That's a ten. He says, I can sense that you speak truth, but these are powerful treasures. And there's one other problem. And what might that be, my liege? Okay. Totally knows that M's is a... Dirty muggle! <laughs> a dirty hybrid! No, he doesn't know you. He He's doesn't. about to say a speech, so can you be quiet? It's okay, important. yeah, 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 shut it. Allow me to tell you a tale. More of a legend, really. This island we're on. Its common name in your tongue is the Ashen Isle. But we know. Th- uh, we know its true name. The Isle is named after the mighty Zeratan that bears it. You know, Zeratan is an island turtle. Oh, right, okay. It's a gigantic turtle that has an island on its back. Wow. And that's why it's never in the same place. Uh, oh, so this, this island moves around. Island, we're a turtle! Yeah, that's why you need the guide stones. Oh, oh my that's... Gosh. They don't even told you that. I, 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 I completely forgot. He says... He basically says the island is named after the turtle that bears it. This one is Najir. However, this is not the first Ashen Isle. We are the spiritual and political hub of the elves. Um, should there be dispute among the, our, our lords, it is here that we agree upon our peace. I, the Phoenix King, have final word on all matters. And so it has been since I took the throne aeons ago. And in this holy place, we gather information and enlighten ourselves in the history of our kinsmen, so that our culture remains eternal. But knowledge is power. And too much power in one place can never be tolerated for long. Therefore, we have the Guardians, and he kind of gestures up to the ceiling. Alshan and Aldaria, the two great phoenix nest here at the top of the tallest tower, as they have since time began. That's what was the light at the top of the tower. It was Ah. was the blaze of these two phoenix. Cool. Just flapping around there. They watch over us. They keep us safe. Give us guidance and smite those that seek to misuse the knowledge we have acquired. Then, eventually, the ascendance will occur. Alashan and Aldria will purge the island and all of its contents. The Zaratan will fall to its final rest at the bottom of the sea. And, and from the ashes of the old course, I will be reborn, transcend, transcendent on wings of flame. And from there, I will rebuild the island and we will be made anew, and our thirst for knowledge will continue. I do not tell you this tale without reason. The item you seek, this gift of the heavens, it was lost long ago, during the last ascendance. The island, Haldir, 
was perched, set ablaze by the guardians, and plummeted into the darkness of the ocean. No. It is lost. I fear I can't help you. It's a religious nut. <laughs> do you want me to summarise that? He just, he just basically, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, come it's on, do, do a summary. Sent down into the bottom of the so sea. basically, right. this island is the spiritual and political hub of all the elves. The elves haven't had a war between themselves for centuries. Yeah. Because anytime the elven lords kind of like fight each other, they come to the Phoenix Court, and the Phoenix Court kind of decide who is right and avoid violence. But it's also like they have a great archive of all the knowledge of the elves. Um, but too much knowledge, if somebody gets their hands on it, they end up becoming rogue and destroying the world. Mm -hmm. So the two guardians, so at some point, nobody knows why, they do something called the Ascendance, where they purge the entire island in flame, they kill the Zeratan that bears the island, and the island sinks to the bottom of the ocean, killing everybody on board. And then the Phoenix King, Tarasalon, ascends to become ascends a back. And no, it comes back to life. Basically. Oh, does he? Doesn't become and a creates a new island, and oh. the thirst for knowledge goes on again, and this just keeps happening. Right. And so in that he, way, he stays he's... alive forever. So he is it always the same Tessalon? Yeah. Is it always him? From yeah, from the story Carib told you, you you know that Tessalon was the original person given the keys of the crown by the Celestial. So he's that person. He's the stained guy. Oh my god. That's um, a person. So go on. Do you want to do anything else? Gideon? No, I've got a question. How do you ask a question? Oh, ask a question? <laughs> My lord, um, just a quick question. So just a quick question. There are there were there are differing Ashen Islands and there's ones that have sunk to the bottom of the sea. No, there's a, there's only ever one Ashen Isle. Yeah. But every now and then it's purged and a new one is replaces. So the one that's been purged is now at the bottom of the sea. There's been thousands purged over so the sea. So it's at the bottom of the sea. The latest one so had the I... piece of the crown in its archive and that's sunk to the bottom of the ocean. So right, the highborn yeah. crime is at cr crime? Crown is at the bottom of the sea. It says, Yes, as I said, it was lost during the last ascendance. Another question. Do you have any means of transportation to the bottom of the sea and could retrieve it for you? Yes. It is a sacred place. Not even the Alps are allowed to go down there. Uh, right. why, why, why is that, my liege? says, the ascendance happens for a reason. Only the guardians would know. Um, and as you hear, and as he says that, this bird's call echoes the walls. The walls. Like, it re like, like rumbles the horn itself. Okay. He kind of looks up and says, Ah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It would seem you are chosen. <laughs> we are the Phoenix Board. <laughs> <laughs> Aladra has spoken to me. He praises you. Thanks. She, oh, it's a girl. Aladra oh, praises you. you. She says she has seen you cause great deeds in blood and snow. Oh. And that you are destined for something greater. Yay. <laughs> I understand you have a guide stone that brought you here. That is indeed right. I'll present him the guide stone. Mm. Is he like Tony Stark doesn't like being Yes, this is the only way you can find <laughs> this. Can, can you give it to me? Yes. He gets up and passes it to you. And takes it from you. There you go. He spins the stone around in his hand like he's swilling a, um, a glass of wine, um, and the stone changes colour. It becomes a, a deep white, uh, a deep grey. I have altered your stone. Thank you. Its trail now leads you to Halder's Rest. Oh. The island lies somewhere deep beneath the sea. Okay. It seems the Phoenix have given their permission, and I will do the same. This one time, you are allowed to go down. Thank you. Excellent. Um, but take nothing else but the piece of the crown. <laughs> if the crown was not purged, then it still lies there. This is all the aid I can give you. And it is not every day that I give my aid so openly. Thank I you. trust you will not misuse this information. Of course not. My liege, we will not misuse the information. But I must, I, I must beg of you one last thing. This cipher, I fear he has a demon blade that is giving him tremendous power. Like I said before, last time we nearly lost our lives doing battle with him. If he is indeed on his way to get to recover this piece of the crown, we might need, let us say, a little help in defeating him. I, 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 I do not wish to ask of you this, but could you please give us knowledge, weapons, anything that might potentially help us? I have given you the gift of guidance, and that is all I will give. Question. Do you have, <laughs> question. Sorry, do you have any healers? You see, I've got a bit. I'm a bit 
I've had a bit of a bad rough time and I was wondering if you have any healers who could help me. He says, I can feel the energy of light around your friend here. Surely she can give you it. Okay. Hannah kind of nods. Hannah, would you like yeah. to ask him anything? I mean, this is like your one chance. She, 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 uh, she kind of smiles and says, My Lord Tresselon, it is indeed an honour. I've spent a lot of my time reading about you and your ways. It, it's su- such a great honour, and she just kind of nods, and he, 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 he kind of nods back and says, Thank you, my friend. You have beautiful I ass. see that you have a pure heart. <laughs> Even Sis- amongst humans. Sister Hannah has proved invaluable to our cause. She is to be commended. <laughs> Uh, um, might, 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 we, might we have um, have re- have refuge here to rest up for the journey ahead? He says, not in the palace, of course, but on the Ashen Isle somewhere. He says, yes, your vessel may stay here for the night. Come, come. Now, please return to your vessel. Okay, come. I will have fresh food and water brought to you. Thank you. And in the morning, you can leave this place. Uh, Thank you, my liege. How are we supposed to get to the bottom of the city? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Uh. My lord, how, uh, do you have any means of transportation of getting us to, what was its name, Thingy Rest? Um, Halder's Rest. Halder's Rest. He says, I know not. Oh, what? This is all the guidance I can give. Wonderful, thanks. And it is, and it is, it, I do not give aid to non-elves very easily. Okay. I couldn't think of a posh way to say it. I know, non-elves. <laughs> To strangers, right? Okay, great. Thank you. I thank you. Kind of signals and the, some guards walk into it. I thank you for your counsel, Lord Phoenix King. Oh he yeah, says. bow quick. He says, um... He hasn't figured out my drowse, has he? No. He says, I wish you luck. I know the guardians will be watching over you. Thank you. We shall need it. We shall need it. I'm sure. Okay. So we shall exit. God damn it. Yeah, the guards surround you and lead you back out down the garden and back onto this ship. Okay, um, as you get to the ship, um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you return to the adventure escorted by the guards. Elven maids follow you with trays of refreshments and warm wine. Ooh, you mean elven maids? Elven maids, yeah. yeah. In, these long, <laughs> in these long, flowing white dresses. Are they all blonde haired or something like that? No, no, no. Like, what, what, one's blonde, one's a red haired, one's red haired. Giggity. Mm. Shower <laughs> So you get you get on board. Nero walks over to you and says, "Gideon, what is our next course of action?" We're going on the water. We, do you have a submarine? Mm, <laughs> yes. It is quite a conundrum. The Phoenix King has blessed. Uh, what's the stone called again? The guide stone. Mm-hmm. The, the Phoenix King has blessed the guide stone. It will take us to the location of where we need to go. the crown is buried deep at the bottom of the ocean. However. We have no means of getting there. The pressure alone would destroy us. We must seek out another means to venture down there. Do you know of anywhere where we can make ports that might some 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 other land that might have says, some way of getting to the bottom of the sea? We are in the center of the Eternal Sea. There is no land anywhere around here. Oh fudge! And how the fuck are we supposed to get back? We are to travel back through the jellyfish and the hydra and the megalodon. <laughs> uh, and the just go past that. Hi, hi, great to see you again. Nice he's just like a bandage around his head and he's like, I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, get some more of this. He yeah, says. He says. We will sleep on it, and I'll, I'll think of I'll think of a plan. Okay, good. Well, Excellent. So we'll we'll, we'll 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 rest up. We'll fi- we'll dine on fine elven wine. Yep. That's a rhyme. Um, <laughs> I'm poet. I didn't know it. <laughs> you 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 and the entire crew all drink on this wine. You're not suspicious of it being poisoned or anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm quite enough being Grumbug, poisoned. Grumbug. Um, all all the maidens avoid Grumbug as much as they can. Oh, I'll um, take it over to him. Just yeah. take a train like yeah, it's okay. wine. So, um, the next morning, the magical waters around... Oh, uh, do you want to re-roll your healing service? Oh, yes. Did I get a good night's sleep? Um, yes, you did. Oh, hey, I got six! The nightmares have stopped! Yes, <laughs> oh, you have six, uh, seven. And Lyra, seven. Lyra doesn't have the nightmare today. And gets four, uh, four healing service. You have a nightmare Okay. So you awake the next morning, like, at dawn. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> um... The glowing magical water around your ships subside, and the adventure is released back into the sea. Cheerio. 
And I think we should call it there for now. Yes! yes. It's been like 50 minutes. Yes! One, two, an hour. Yes. Excellent! Well, um, wow, that was a, a rather brief trip to the Ash Isle. I was hoping for something maybe a bit of a longer stay there, maybe get some, some cool gear or something, but. But no, none of that. Dude, it was a privilege to step on the ground. They're not going to give you shit. I thought that maybe get some better knowledge. God damn it. Okay. Right, well, we'll see where our adventure takes us next time. I don't know how we're going to get to the bottom of the ocean. Um, That'll be fun. Yeah. So, guys, Bye. thank you for listening. <laughs> see you guys next time. Yeah. See you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.